Facebook has graciously reminded me all week long that this was my very last week of work uh, last year where um, I walked away from an amazing career of 25 years to take an insane leap of faith that uh, required a lot of trust and um, a lot of bravery and it was scary like I, I will admit it was scary but you know taking risk is scary sometimes and when you know you're supposed to do something you know I've really learned that you, you can't ignore it it will just keep coming back to you and presenting itself in different ways and so I wrapped up my business and we moved it, you know we spent the next four weeks packing and Ron had made a trip up here already and Claire and I, you know, kind of finished tying up loose ends at home. And then, you know, we, we piled everything in the trucks and trailers and our travel trailer and made trips back and forth. And so when Facebook had reminded me this morning that uh, I had memories to look back on and, and that this was like my last day of work, um, It was an end of an era. It's just kind of a bizarre feeling, but uh, I, did, I wasn't really afraid of that. Like, I loved my job and I loved all of my people. They just, you know, my clients just had become family over the years. Our lives were so intertwined and um, it, was, it was amazing. And you can't replicate that somewhere else. And I was so blessed to have a job like that for years and years and years, especially, you know, like my husband had worked, you know, in different companies and, you know, a lot of times they'll come home and just not enjoy where they're at. And I, I never had a bad day. Never did I ever wake up and thought, I don't want to go to work today. It was, it was awesome. Uh, so to leave that was really just, I don't even have the words for that. It was, it was not just risky and a little bit scary, but when you know you're supposed to do something, it's it makes it okay. So this morning when I woke up and, you know, got ready and came outside and I could hear something and I was so happily surprised to see that our creek had thawed out and was flowing as of this morning. And um, it just was really refreshing. Like we made it through a really long winter, a lot of trials and, um, a lot of challenges, nothing that was, you know, something we couldn't handle, but it was, there was a lot. And, uh, but knowing like, you know, coming outside and seeing the creek flowing this morning was just kind of a renewing to know, like we have so many plans for this property and so many dreams and a lot of work in front of us. We, we definitely bought the ultimate fixer upper um, but with, with amazing views and fresh air and, you know, it smells like you're in a campground every morning because of the pine trees and, and, uh, great neighbors, like, you know, it's your new home. Um, I guess, you know, after that conversation I had with my brother last night and this morning, um, you know, when you were supposed to do something and you know, like you can't ignore it when you have a nudge, when God places something on your heart to, uh, you know, not stand still, but take action. And uh, it's exciting, scary, like, you know, challenges and, and new things that you, um, you know, start praying about to see if it's like the right choice for you or your family. It's scary, especially when it's so much out of your comfort zone. Like I am, so you can ask my friends, like such a creature habit, such a, I don't know, I live such a boring life. I love it. It's fabulous. <laughs> like no drama, no, you know, I just cook food and love my family and have a garden. And, and, um, we knew when we bought this property, you know, someday I'll share the whole story about that, uh, which is so amazing. Like it still blows my mind how that all worked out. 
and the price we paid for it and that it was on the street that, you know, was saved on my Google notes as like a street I want to live on for two years. And uh, that God was just holding it for us and waiting for us and waiting for, you know, our hearts to be prepared for doing something new. But, um, you know, I just, I'm excited for you guys all to follow along and see you know, what we do and how we transform it. And, you know, like I, I promised, like, you know, if this was to be ours, like I would really use it to, to love on people and to, uh, oh, dang it. I don't know. I'm so stinking emotional today, <laughs> but to, uh, glorify God and, and really just restore it. It's, uh, I'm telling you when I say the ultimate fixer upper, like, you have no idea how much work we've done already and um, how much more is in front of us, but it's so excited to, to breathe life back into something. And, you know, especially in such a beautiful part of the United States and to see something like this sitting with so much trash and just, you know, years of neglect and the owners were elderly. It's understandable. Like you can't do what you used to do and things get a little out of hand and, um, but we knew that going in and, you know, Ron and I are, we're not afraid of working hard and we're not afraid of projects. And, you know, that could be a little crazy on our part because we get ourselves into some projects, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I can't wait for y'all to follow along on our, you know, transformations, things we build, things we do. You know, he's one of the most creative people I've ever met. He can build, make, fix anything. Um, I'm not tooting his horn. It's just facts. Like that is his gift from God. He's so talented. And uh, man, oh, I cannot believe how emotional I am just talking about this today. <laughs> but um, but it's super exciting. And I can't wait for you all to follow along. You know, maybe learn something. Cheer us on. Definitely come visit. Um, we miss so much of our friends and family. And you know, you can only text and talk and call so much. But you know, we're hoping to... Uh, maybe someday have some tiny cabins and have places for, you know, people to come and have some peace and some, some time to restore and just relax. Cause that is definitely what this state has done for us over the years. You know, our first visit was, you know, to come stay with our friend. Um, and, uh, we didn't want to leave by the day two, Ron was, uh, throwing the real estate magazines at me from the gas station little, you know, box that you pull out the free take one booklets. Um, there's just, there's nothing like it. And, uh, we're so blessed to be here and so excited just to, um, have y'all follow along and see, see what we do. I think it's just a great way to, you know, invite you back into my world after being gone for so long. And, uh, we're so blessed and it's it's amazing and uh <clears throat> big things coming up this year you know we're going to finish the house um claire's getting married here so we're going to you know we got some leveling to do in the meadow um i want to build a bigger garden and teach people how to garden and you can follow along and maybe learn something new so i hope you guys are all doing amazing um and if you're new to my channel, I hope that, you know, we find um, <clears throat> new friendships along the way and that uh, maybe you could learn something and we can learn something from you and uh, you can just see, uh, see and learn new things. So I hope you all have an amazing day. I love you. Bye.